emerging topics. Also, we had discussions on the methodology of the new research areas workshop with hands on exercises with statistical software such as SPC, SPSS, Stata, and EUs. The expected outcomes as of the workshop is to provide a fundamental theoretical and methodological base to the participants in the area of finance. Now, I welcome Professor G. Raju, Department of Commerce, University of Kerala, for the welcome address. Raju, sir, uh, join. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. So, good evening to you all, most respected dignitaries, respected scholars, my dear friends. We are coming to the close of this 10 day long international workshop. Come conference title as Contemporary Finance Research and Publication. Dear friends, I am sure that you all had a different experience. Being an academician, all of you had participated or organized this kind of academic exercises earlier occasions too. But this time, certainly you can say that you had a unique experience as you are visiting a foreign country and participating in an international conference over there. When we visit and participate in exercises like this, we will get an international exposure, which is the need of the hour, especially in this globalized and competitive environment. Because now competition is not only among persons in a country, but you have to compete globally. That is the experience today. So here comes the importance of this kind of exercise, wherein we can hear, interact, and learn from international scholars. Yes, it was 100% true, as we had participants and resource persons, not only from other parts of the country, but we have both participants and resource persons from outside the country, which make it truly an international experience. We learned, we learned <clears throat> a lot about finance research, different valid tools, the data to which these tools are more appropriate to apply, and what more, even about how to publish, where to publish, and what to publish, and that too from an international faculty. Here I am not extracting your time, as we have three eminent personalities to give a validity address to you. And hence, I am coming to my assigned task of welcoming you all. First of all, Professor Dr. Zia Bigam, Dean Faculty of Commerce, University of Kerala. And moreover, she is a peer team NAC member. And she has so many academic and administrative responsibilities, not only restricted to our university throughout the country. Being a peer team member, she had visited almost all the uh, universities almost all parts of the country and she had visited so many foreign countries and now she is occupying the wonderful post of the dean faculty of commerce the topmost person as far as academy is concerned i think next only to our vice chancellor earlier uh, she had the position of the dean faculty of mg university too so she is the right person to give a validity address for this occasion so on behalf of all the Learned persons assembled here through online. I express a warm welcome to Dr. Sia Bigam, Dean Faculty of Commerce, showing her uh, willingness to come uh, come over uh, for this, uh, expressing her uh, validity address through online. Then I welcome is uh, Professor Nanadarada and Professor Dr. S. Kevin, who was the former professor and former Pro Vice Chancellor of University of Kerala. As far as Professor Kevin is concerned. He is also a well-known teacher, researcher, and author. He has he so many publications to his credit. Even research methodology books, then international finance, security analysis, and portfolio management. Even at this age, that is after retiring from the service about 10 years back, still he is engaged in taking classes, uh, organizing research forum, and all these things, not only really in our state, I could understand that he is a visiting professor of one of the universities in Mumbai. That itself shows his commitment and expertise in the field. 
So now he too has agreed for uh, expressing his uh, uh, words over this validity address. So on behalf of the Department of Commerce and on behalf of all the learned persons assembled here, I express a warm welcome to Professor Dr. Kevin. Then uh, Professor Gabriel Simon Tuttle, he is our own faculty. But as far as uh, Dr. Gabriel Simon Tuttle is concerned, he is a person having wide responsibility in, your, in our university, being the director of IQSC of University of Kerala, as well as he is the uh, director of the School of Business Management and Legal Studies. He has so many administrative responsibilities, but I am sure that in addition to this administrative responsibilities, he still uh, loves the academy. And that is why even with so many administrative and economic responsibilities today, he has joined uh, for this validity address and he too has agreed to express his words in this validity address. So on behalf of all the lane people assembled here, I express a warm welcome to Dr. Gabriel Simon Tuttle also in this validity address. Then Dr. Biju A.V. Yeah, the, you can uh, designate him as the soul or the spirit, everything of this conference without disturbing any other faculty in our department. Even though our number is Z, almost all the faculty members are occupied in uh, different positions. So uh, he did almost all the works uh, individually with the help of or by self itself, by the help of some research scholars. That itself shows his organizational ability. So he had proven that he can organize this kind of international experience with minimum time and without the help of uh, a large number of people. So with uh, he, with his team of students or with his team of research scholars, he could organize this kind of a nice program timely and without any disturbance and as per the schedule. So I congratulate him and he's also a part of this program being the organizing secretary. Anyway, on behalf of the department, I welcome Dr. Biju A.V. also for this validity address. Then I have to welcome so many people uh, here. This conference, uh, we have discussed so many items. Of course, in validity address, they will uh, discuss about these things. I am not uh, taking your time. Anyway, we have so many resource persons from different parts of the country, including Professor Kinnerima, Professor Anhinda, Mumbai University, uh, then Professor. Fandi of Gujarat University. And so many personalities, so, so many professors from IIT, IIS, etc. join for this conference as resource persons and some of them have joined as participants too. That itself show the importance of this kind of thing. So once again, I am thankful to those persons and I also welcome them also for this validity address. Last but not the least, I have to welcome all my colleagues in my department, uh, Professor Dr. P. N. Harigumar, uh, Dr. Biju T. Ms. Leshmi, Mr. Vinu Ashu, uh, then a lot of research scholars, including Nidhi, Agil, Snake, Tambli, Fagavadi, etc. Okay, a lot of uh, students have helped Biju in materializing this kind of an exercise. Last but not the least, I welcome all the delegates who are here for this validity address and those who had participated in some other occasions, in some other sessions, but because of some other responsibilities or some other duties. They are keeping away from validity address. Anyway, I welcome all the participants for this validity address. So with this verse, I am concluding. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As you rightly said, it was truly an international experience. And that's where the important relevance of such workshops arise. For the validatory address, I invite Professor Rasia Begum, the Professor and Dean, Faculty of Co University of Kerala. Welcome you, ma'am. Thank you, Bhagavati. I feel the real validatory address will come from uh, Leonard Academician, Professor Kevin, sir. I'll, I prefer to give a gist of the workshop as an insider. Most respected conference secretary, Professor G. Raju, esteemed Professor Kevin, sir, who is former Pro Vice Chancellor of University of Kerala, respected Director IQC, Professor Simon Tuttle, resource person for the last session, which is just concluded, Dr. Sahuj Kumar from IIT Madras, organizing secretary, 
Dr. Viju A.V., my other colleagues at the department, Professor uh, P.N. Harikumar, Dr. Viju T., Ms. Lakshmi, Mr. Vinu Ashok, the entire team of our scholars and students who are rendering support for the smooth conduct of this program. Good evening, every one of you. Uh, this 10-day program of international workshop and conference on contemporary finance research tools and publication started on uh, 22nd of this month is coming to a fruitful culmination today. Uh, this program was inaugurated by Dr. Vikas Ramaya of Ollogong University. Uh, presidential address for the inaugural function was rendered by Professor Simon Tuttle. As envisaged, as envisaged by the organizers, the 10-day program was a uh, great opportunity for the delegates to understand the pertinent areas in finance research, to revisit what they already know, to add upon their existing level of expertise on research. Though covering the entire gamut of finance research is not possible within this, was not possible within this time frame, nine sessions were carefully identified nationally and internationally reputed resource persons were invited for handling the uh, themes uh, like research in equity and derivatives market, research in design for behavioral finance, behavior of time series data, roadmap for finance research. These are the sessions handled by experts. Extraction and use of NSSO data, integrated financial markets, application of qualitative response model, etc. Uh, in between, one day was specially and designated for international conference. Uh, 31 papers were presented in three tracks. Then, as Rajasa was uh, telling, we had very good uh, panel of experts for handling the sessions and for chairing the technical tracks. Uh, we had resource persons from Mumbai University. We had resource person from Gujarat University. All the faculty members of a uh, Department of Commerce were present. Then we had Dr. Sandosh Kumar from Pusaj, Dr. Ramarun Kumar from ISID New Delhi, Dr. Indrajit Bairagya from ISCC, then the resource person for the last session, Dr. Sahoj from IIT Madras. Uh, among the delegates, we had a representation from all the states. We had uh, participate, I mean, delegates from Middle East. In both ways, it was very fruitful. I believe, I believe these 10 days have been extremely fruitful and inspiring for all the delegates who took part in this workshop and conference. I wish you that what you learned here, the areas you are introduced to you will come out to be of great use to you as researchers and academicians in the broad umbrella of finance, commerce, um, business, etc. And I take this opportunity to especially congratulate the Conference Secretary, Professor G. Raju, who is our head of the department, and the organizing secretary, Dr. Viju A.V. All the sessions were smoothly, uh, went smoothly as planned. Uh, there are no change in programs, in teams. There, there are no change in the resource persons. Everything went so smoothly. 31 papers were presented in, in a single day of conference. Uh, this this was possible only because of the perfect time management of the uh, organizers, especially Dr. Viju Avi. My special appreciations for that. Then I I hope the delegates will be keeping in touch with the resource persons for clarifying their doubts. And I'm also waiting to hear from uh, esteemed Professor Kevin Sir and Professor Simon Tuttle. With these words, I'm concluding. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for giving us a just the entire workshop. As rightly said, we have a learned person over here, Professor Dr. S. Kevin, the former Pro Vice Chancellor, University of Kerala. We are glad to have you with us, sir. I welcome you for the validatory address. Thank you, Bhagavadi. Respected Professor Dr. Raju, the head of the department, Dr. Rasia Begum, 
Dean of uh, Faculty of Commerce, Dr. Simon Thuttle, IQSE Coordinator and Professor of the Department of Commerce, Dr. Biju Avi, the coordinator of this uh, workshop, other faculty members of the department, students, dear participants, a good evening to all of you. At the outset, uh, thank you for, I wish to thank the organizers for inviting me for this valedictory, uh, for giving this valedictory remarks. In fact, we are coming to the end of the webinar series, 10 day webinar series on a very important topic. Uh, it's a time of, I would say it's a time of uh, mixed feelings. The participants feel a sense of loss because uh, they are going to lose the enjoyable and informative sessions they were having every evening for the past 10 days. On the other hand, the organizers have a feeling of relief that the strain of organizing this long event is coming to an end. But they will also have a feeling of anxiety regarding the outcome. Will it be assessed as a success? They are anxious. In fact, uh, they would be awaiting the analysis of the feedback from the participants. Let me share my experience of this uh, workshop. I registered as a participant intending to attend all the sessions because I was uh, attracted by the theme and also the resource persons. I felt sure that I will be able to learn new things. I missed three sessions due to other engagements, but I was uh, fortunate enough to attend all six sessions of this 10 day, nine day, nine day uh, workshop. I should say I was fully satisfied with uh, these, each of these uh, sessions which I attended. I wish to highlight three features of this workshop uh, series. The first feature, it was the selection of the resource persons was most appropriate, I should say. They were the experts in the area related to the topic that they presented. In fact, we were presented with resource persons from different institutions uh, from different parts of the country and also from foreign countries. Each of them made excellent presentations, which I am sure the participants enjoyed very much. Maybe all of us, all of you did not understand fully everything that was said, but I certainly did enjoy each of the sessions which I attended. Selecting the most appropriate resource persons is perhaps a serious challenge faced by the organizers. But they have succeeded very well. I wish to congratulate the organizers, especially the coordinator, Dr. Biju Avi, who I'm sure was the was mainly instrumental in the selection process of the resource persons. Dr. Biju, he did an excellent work of selecting the most appropriate uh, persons. The second feature which I would like to highlight is the variety and the diversity in the topics selected for each session. Moreover, the topics related to higher levels of research, not usually discussed in our workshops. The topics and the tools presented were not those which are commonly used by researchers. We are used to a certain set of pattern, certain tools, statistical tools and certain uh, processes in, a, in the research process. But here, the resource persons presented specialized areas not commonly used. 
the participants were exposed to innovative research areas and innovative analysis tools. And uh, in, in fact, it was very interesting to see the kind of research that they were doing, the high level research that some of the participants uh, were doing and they exposed to us uh, some of their research papers. At least some of the participants will be motivated to read more and to pursue research in these uh, areas. In fact, that is the purpose of these kinds of workshops because we are exposed to something new and then those who are interested will start reading to understand further and then they will start research in those areas. So this, this I think is the special benefit derived by the participants from this workshop. Or I should say this is the highlight of this workshop, the higher level of research areas and the higher level of analysis uh, tools that uh, the participants were exposed to. Once again, I wish to congratulate the organizers uh, uh, for providing a variety and diversity of topics uh, during this uh, workshop. The third feature which I would like to highlight is the excellent organizational dynamics. This was not a single day or a three day workshop. It was a 10 day workshop. And as the days increase, the organizational dynamics becomes complex and challenging. I feel that it was properly planned and scheduled. The execution was faultless as uh, uh, Professor Prasya Begum was mentioning earlier. The communication regarding the workshop was uh, timely. The time management was effective. Overall, perfectly organized. The teamwork behind the scene was a great success, I should say. And again, the leadership of the coordinator, Dr. Biju, was very effective in ensuring the success of the team work. Congratulations to the coordinator and all the, each of the team members. I understand that they are either research scholars or other students of the department. So, uh, special congratulations to all the team members who participated in this, uh, who helped the coordinator to have an excellent workshop. Finally, congratulations to the Department of Commerce, the Professor and Head Dr. Raju, all his colleagues for taking the initiative in organizing this kind of a workshop. In fact, the Department of Commerce is uh, in the forefront in organizing uh, seminars, conferences, and workshops useful to the students. It's a, a very common feature of the department, I know. But this was of a different type with uh, its own unique benefits to the participants. That was the speciality of this uh, web, uh, uh, workshop. We expect more academic exercises of this nature from this uh, from the Department of Commerce. Enhancing the quality of research is the expected outcome of all these activities. We know that. So I hope this workshop will definitely enhance the quality of research that is happening in the Department of Commerce. Wishing you all success, I conclude. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The presence of Dr. S. Kevin himself was a great blessing for us and the feedback regarding the selection of the resource persons, diversity of the topics and the organizational dynamics would be kept in our mind even in our future endeavors. Thank you. Now we have with us Professor Gabriel Simon Tuttle, Director of IUAC, University of Kerala and the Director of School of Business Management and Legal Studies. We welcome you, sir, for the validatory address. Good evening, everybody. Professor Kevin, Professor Raju, Professor Rasya, my colleagues in the department, uh, Dr. Biju Evi, the coordinator, participants, scholars, and students. Uh, already we have had a very good, appropriate, and what do you call it, uh, most uh, 
wanted and sought after kind of valedictory for this workshop, the 10 day event was right, very nicely summed up by Professor Kevin. And the gist of what was done was also given by Professor Rasia. So I am not uh, going into those details. Uh, I would just uh, try to relate this to uh, what, how well we have been uh, looking at research in finance for the last 10 days and how well we can perhaps use the outcome from what we were discussing in the last 10 days. As Professor Kevin rightly said, if you look through all that the, the, the department ha has been doing for the last uh, 25 years, we have had this culture of uh, providing insights for research, not only for research in terms of career development, in terms of uh, career planning for uh, commerce students. We have had a culture of organizing programs and thereby seeing that how it promotes further learning. If you look at what we did this year itself, we have had a 15 day plus workshop on shaping focused research for research scholars, which had around 300 plus people who attended. Then we went into the, uh, the workshop on interpretation of financial statement in association with the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, where they associated with us. And uh, uh, that, uh, Lakshmi was coordinating that where you see that even the post presentation views, it was over 600 plus. And now we have had, had this wonderful 10 day event. Now, what I would like to uh, share here is, we have seen a lot of participants across the country sharing their thoughts, sharing their papers. And as I mentioned in the keynote address on the inaugural day, uh, this has been totally recorded because we are in the online mode. The entire thing is recorded. So how we can use this, the outcome from what has been shared here is something which we have to uh, look into. And I think that is that will be a wonderful exercise because our university, we have our own uh, channel in which we can post the entire proceeding. And that will give all the participants an opportunity to look back, share, and also those who are not participants to perhaps learn from this. It will also give an opportunity to all the researchers in the host university to look at the possible ways they can take advantage of this. So my uh, suggestion as part of this valedictory is to uh, have a good depository of all these sessions, of all the uh, research methods that were shared here, of all the outcomes that could best be used for this purpose on this channel. And also, if possible, have a gist of all that has been presented and let us have a proceedings of what has been done over here. So that will be a fruitful outcome from uh, what we have done. And uh, that way we can uh, ensure that the deliverables from such workshops uh, go a long way in learning. So uh, apart from that, most of the things were already stated, well organized. Uh, selection of the source person. We had a lot of input. Uh, we are getting uh, people from across the country. On many occasions in the past, we have had people from IIMs, IITs, and now on the online mode, it has become still more easier to get more people. And I believe all the resource person who have come here uh, would be willing to interact with us in future as well. And uh, Dr. Biju Avi has done an excellent work on that count in seeing that this event could be organized in this style and in this way in which we could a lot of people who could interact with us. Also, I request all our researchers as well as researchers from other institutes. We have had researchers from Punjab University, Aligarh Muslim University, Amit University, Lovely Professional University, Christ University, and many other institutions. Uh, they can keep in touch of how uh, mutually we can perhaps collaborate on good research, not only good research, good possible uh, placement and extension into professional bodies and industry as well. So I congratulate, join in congratulating the, uh, or, uh, the, the, the coordinator, Dr. Biju A.V. For, for his efforts and the entire team for what they have done. And I wish uh, 
it, this will be a good learning exercise for us to transform into better quality research in future. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for spending your valuable time in spite of your busy schedule. As sir rightly pointed out, virtual conferences has many limitations. Interacting with resource persons from different parts of the country and outside is indeed a boon. The success of a program always depends on the participants, and we are very lucky to have such interactive participants with us today. For the feedback, I invite Dr. A. R. Sal. The head of financial risk management, Al Guherat, Dubai, UAE, who is an international participant for this event. I welcome you, sir, for your feedback. Good evening, everyone. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, respected dignitaries and participants, and faculty members, and students, and friends, very good evening. Uh, first of all, uh, the people will wonder why this old man out in this research workshop is is working in a corporate and why. He, first of all, I am very passionate in uh, in research and teaching. And my profession is in market risk and financial risk, focused on applied finance and quantitative finance. Uh, I always uh, very keen to improve my learning curve up, and I used to attend the research because academia is very important because that is contributing to the research in the corporate side, especially if you deal with the real market. What we learn from the books and the reality is different. So that is the bridge happening in that kind of research and outcomes in the literature. I, first of all, I really congratulate uh, the people behind the scene, especially the department and uh, the teachers and everyone. It's already they all mentioned by other dignitaries before me. So I take this opportunity for a very warm congratulation from the heart for this kind of uh, events. Uh, coming into my responsibility of the feedback, the important thing is I can say as an anecdote, it is nicely cooked and very neatly served because these two things are very important because the cooking is different and serving is different. Generally, we will feel the taste of the food, right? If the cookie is cooked well and served well, then only we will get that ambience of uh, satiety value. The same way it was nicely organized, starting from uh, selection of the resource persons and the topics and the way they interacted with the participants. Because even for me, it's concerned I'm in a busy schedule, but the timing was very nice for me to attend in the evening. That was really nice because it is occupying everyone considering the time availability. And uh, the interactions and the topic, the topic was the one thing attracted me more on that, especially the 1st uh, session why because Ramaya is from Dubai. And he has enlightened into a new area of research, because as you know, the academia is more uh, focused on the research because. Perish to publish is the idea and the motto for the career as well as their uh, academic life. So this is a new area because it's, we are facing in a very competitive world uh, of publications. So we need to find out ourselves the best into a certain area need to be specialized. So this is a new area he come out with is uh, the sustainable finance and carbon credits and all these things were new to all of the researchers, especially for the, uh, the university. So that was very nice. That's what I'm saying that it is a uh, very focused on the topic selection and the interactions because they all are interacting very nicely with the audience. That is very important. The participation from the audience. It's a two way, even though we are dealing with the online media. Uh, even though it was really nice to have a two way sessions. I am I'm participating in the question and answers and the, the way they are uh, presenting the topic that was interesting. And the uh, best part is the research uh, presentation because it's pre track it's professionally managed well on the timing as well as the interactions and everything that was really commendable and overall it's nice and uh, we look forward to this kind of workshop in the future from the university that will especially if it's in an international wavelength it will give more wavelength for the students to interact with the international faculties and the members and they will get motivated into the real life as well as their academic area so that's all from my side. Thank you, Vijay sir, for this opportunity, and I take this opportunity to thank everyone in the department. Okay, looking forward. Thank you. Back to you, sir.
Thank you, sir. We thank you, sir, for your presence and creative feedback. Though you are not from the teaching or the research fraternity, your participation was indeed a commendable one, sir. Thank you. Now, as a national representative, we have Devi Prasad Satapati, the Assistant Professor of Centurion University of Technology and Management, Osha. We welcome, sir, for your valuable feedback. Uh, am I audible? Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are. Audible, sir. Uh, esteemed dignitaries and uh, uh, organizing secretary, Vijay Bishas. First of all, uh, let me congratulate uh, for the success of this event. The reason behind it, why I am telling, because uh, there are two reasons why I, I, I must appreciate this kind of workshop. First, uh, the, the motivate me this, uh, I appreciate must that the quality publication, the choice of the resource person, Vikas Ramiya sir, who really knows the root of the publication, quality publication. And he highlighted how to stretch the quality publication. That's the quality of this workshop. Really, the participants have to take on from him. Therefore, I have attended many workshops, and this is the crux I find most interesting. And I should thank you to Vijay Bisar and uh, the Department of Commerce to find a key person, the area where he really knows the thing. And the second thing I must appreciate, the choosing of the timing part, because as a teaching person, we engage from a whole day and six to eight, the two hour, uh, last two hours is really enjoying, enjoyable for the learning. And that's the most fantastic of choosing of the timing of this workshop. And I should say, Visual Edition, please do organizing uh, on this type of workshop so that we can uh, definitely indulge and take the advantage of it. And the third, uh, uh, the most important is choice of resource person. Every resource person has been selected in this workshop are beautifully explained the concept and the subject well. Uh, that are the key, key takeaway from this workshop, which is really interesting. And I, I should I should pour up my heart, I should thankful to them. And hopefully, at the, uh, regarding conference, I have uh, a whole day present and I'm kind thankful to be to every sir, though uh, uh, he has allowed me and is kind enough. Uh, to allow me to participate in that workshop. And it was well organized, well planned, finished in times. Uh, that's nice to see. And we are looking for more this kind of workshop from your side. Once again, more of my heart thankful to the Department of Commerce, the University of the Terror, and we do a reserve for guidance. Over to Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, sir. You were indeed one of the most interactive participants and your feedback on the resource persons and timing are indeed very useful for us. Thank you, sir. Now we have with us Ms. Kartika K, the assistant professor of NSS Hindu College, Changana Shiri, to share her feedback. Yeah, uh, thank you, Bhagavati, for inviting me. Uh, most respected uh, Raju sir, Rasiya ma'am, Kevin sir, Simon sir, Biju sir, uh, other distinguished uh, faculty members, research scholars and students. Uh, it's always a privilege uh, for me uh, to be part of any program uh, hosted by our department, uh, University of Kerala. Uh, it's not only because I am an alumnus of this department, but also uh, due to the meritorious programs the department is conducting every year. Uh, all the uh, lecture series, uh, in this uh, workshop were uh, remarkably uh, good. And the only problem was uh, some sessions need our basic knowledge uh, to get uplifted, uh, to understand uh, the information shared by resource persons, uh, especially uh, Vikas Ramaya sir and Sabuj Kumar Mantel sir. Uh, new ideas uh, to start uh, research uh, by introducing uh, new sources of secondary data collection and uh, importance of theory-based research have been interestingly and professionally uh, been uh, delivered by uh, Intrajit sir and uh, Santosh sir. Uh, then other resource persons uh, uh, 
uh, Rama ma'am, uh, Simon sir and Harry sir have uh, paved way uh, to think uh, divergently on uh, research uh, on international trade, integrated financial markets, and uh, even the basics of time series data has been mentioned uh, in their lecture series. Then the speciality of this uh, workshop uh, is that Bijusar and his team was kind enough to provide us with uh, experts uh, who could simplify uh, complex ideas of research uh, in behavioral finance. And uh, altogether, uh, these 10 days, I have experienced a workshop as well as conference that have been uh, conducted with genuine interest. Uh, why I'm saying with genuine interest is because as part of conference, you have started a WhatsApp group and in that group, uh, the group admin was constantly mentioning to us this this group can be uh, followed future also you can you can interact with us uh, we'll be exchanging some ideas likewise in in none other conference i have seen uh, such things so it, it was genuinely done these conferences as well as workshop and in the case of workshop also the topics you have selected were uh, which need that much attention in future research but seldom uh, conferences have mentioned on these uh, topics also. So in that way, I'm saying this conference as well as workshop has been done in a very genuine manner. And uh, I have just one suggestion uh, that uh, as you have covered a wide range of uh, uh, areas under uh, behavioral finance, a pre-conference workshop uh, could have been uh, good for the beginners uh, because as uh, in these sessions, uh, some resource persons have talked about certain tools and might be these things might be very new to the beginners and uh, might be some basic knowledge is needed uh, for for the further understanding uh, so that that that's the only suggestion which i have to put forward uh, then to sum up i should say that uh, i have experienced a well organized uh, and uh, fruitful most updated workshop and conference i have ever attended and definitely as kevin sir rightly mentioned uh, we are going to miss this daily academic exercise we got uh, for a couple of days and I wish uh, all the research aspirants including me could be able to continue uh, this by practicing the aspects mentioned by our uh, resource persons without losing the spirit we got from these sessions and uh, thank you so much to each one of you uh, who have uh, took the efforts behind this program uh, thank you all thank you Karthika thank you Karthika ma'am Thank the you. presence of an alumnus like you is indeed our greatest advantage. And thank you, Vam, for providing a complete feedback on the program. Anybody else, if you have any feedback, you can please unmute your mic. Or if so, you can uh, please post your name in the chat box and I will invite you. Anybody wanted to speak, uh, you can do that. The meeting is open for you. If no more feedbacks, I invite Dr. Biju Avi, the Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, University of Kerala, the man behind the success of the event who shared blood and sweat in making this program a great success. Over to you, sir, for delivering the vote of thanks. Most uh, respected head of the Department of Commerce, Professor G. Raju, Dean Professor, uh, Faculty of Commerce, Professor Rasya Begum, Professor S. K. Vin, former Pro Vice Chancellor of Kerala University, Professor Simon Tartil, IQSE Director of University of Kerala, and my colleagues, Professor Hari Kumar, sir, Professor Bijut E, and uh, Vinu Ashok, Lakshmi, and uh, other uh, respected dignitaries, participants, scholars. Uh, as you know, Commerce Department is uh, already proved and very popular in organization of conferences and workshops uh, over a period of time under the leadership of. Uh, 
Professor Simon Thurtill and other eminent academicians, Professor Shanagadar and Professor Ganesh. Uh, so, you know, these people are so experienced and they are real academicians. So we were so careful while doing each and every process of this program so that we should not commit any faults. I think we've done something like, uh, uh, I mean, truly, uh, we did it uh, okay with the current uh, standard. Uh, we worked as a team, uh, full credit goes to my team. I was only part of the team. Uh, we have evaluation meeting each and every day of sessions and understand the problems of uh, every day. And we have tried to reduce the issues. So I hope that till the end, we uh, resolve uh, every problems faced so far. So today, right now, we have reached uh, the end of our 10 day work workshop and conference. Uh, our scholars and teachers have been working hard since the last two months for this program. So we have got around 120 international, I mean, external participants and 100 uh, from from our institute, altogether 220 participants were registered for this program. So we have got 100 purpose, and out of the 100 purpose, we have selected 60 purpose, uh, and uh, uh, we put uh, put across 30 purpose in the track, and 31 purpose uh, the, the papers were presented, and we we have three tracks and the six chairs. So. Uh, So due to the limitations of time, we could not include uh, some papers in the track because only one day the conference was conducted. So various situations we were in stuck, uh, but we overcome the situations and returned back to the track. In fact, so many times uh, with advices and guidance of many teachers and scholars, all helped us a lot. We have collected the feedback of participants and uh, the feedback was tremendous uh, and uh, we will try to improve the, the feedback. Some of the feedbacks uh, we have got it and checked it up and we will try to improve uh, in the future time. So uh, I'm going to my uh, duty. I thank my head of the department for the valuable advices. So, so sir was very cooperative with us and uh, because uh, I cannot express uh, my words because he was such a kind, uh, kindly person uh, and uh, able to cooperate with us every activity we said, sir, always joining with us. And I thank uh, Dean, uh, so I thank uh, my head of the department. And I thank uh, Dean faculty, uh, Professor Asya Begum, ma'am, ma'am is always with us and ask uh, what is the status of the program. And uh, she was trying to join the program every time she, because even though she was busy with the academic matters, but she helped uh, as uh, the, throughout the program. And I thank uh, the honorable IQAC director and uh, a prominent uh, professor in the University of Kerala, Professor Gabriel Simon Thurtle. I would say that this program, uh, because we have, uh, I already said that we were in stuck in some situations, but in the council meeting and also uh, sir was given so many guidances, that guidance was, because in some times we have taken some uh, wrong decisions, that means the registration had to be closed or something like that. He said that the registration should not be closed. Every people should be admitted, something like that. That was a very great decision that everyone uh, interested in the program were admitted to the program. That was a great decision by the Professor Simon Turtle. So on, on this occasion, I, I thank uh, Professor Simon Turtle. Uh, thank you, sir. And I thank my colleagues, uh, Professor Hari Kumar, sir. Uh, she delivered a wonderful session. And Bijuti, sir, uh, he chaired one session and it was beautiful. And uh, the Lakshmi, Lakshmi, uh, uh, Lakshmi support was very important uh, uh, because she she was a host uh, in the two sessions, and Vinu, Vinu is also uh, uh, very uh, very very helpful in every situation. Vinu is also right now with us, uh, so I thank uh, these people and I thank Department Office uh, for the cooperation, and I thank. Uh, 
the vice chancellor and pro vice chancellor and university authorities for giving funding of this program. And I thank the participants. Participants are the significant force behind the success of the program and active interactions were taken place, especially in the conference papers. It was very good. And many people, even our students said that the conference uh, papers were good and they have got some many insights uh, after watching the conference. Uh, fortunately, we have got very good participants. So I thank the participants and their participants uh, who were registered uh, in the conference as well as workshop. So I would like to mention a few names. Uh, uh, these people are very important, so I should mention the names. First of all, Aparna is, is she's my own scholar and she was working very hard for this program. So I should thank her and the Snehid Jacob, uh, the host of the WebEx. Uh, uh, he was a person sending mail to the participants, very disciplined way done his job. We love him a lot, uh, love him a lot. I love him very much. He was uh, just brilliant. Uh, and uh, uh, the next is Akhil. Akhil is always with us. It means uh, every day we 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 will we were check the the feedback uh, of each and every day session. So Akhil was so helpful. And Nidhi Krishna, the back office uh, was done by Nidhi Krishna because the certificates and brochure, everything uh, was uh, done by Nidhi Krishna. And Bhagavadi, the comparer of this program, I thank. Uh, Bhagavadi and today's resource person, uh, he wanted to see her face also. So uh, I thank Bhagavadi. Uh, these people are the backbone of the program. You know, the program would not have done this way if these people would not support this much. I, I think they were sacrificed their regular work and personal activities for this program. So last couple of days, they were being with me always uh, in the department. Uh, and uh, some of the tracks, uh, it was managed by Kartika, Gauri, Gopika, Jodi, Anisha, CG, and they were the persons who deal with the track and uh, conduct the participants uh, about the presentation of papers and all. They were work a lot uh, to keep up the momentum in the tracks. And I should thank the comparers of uh, RMCOM students, Pooja, Lakshmi, Anjali, Surya, Bhagya, Ansi, Rahuma, Ambi. Uh, these comparers, they, the work is uh, very brilliant. I cannot remember the names who helped me in this because all scholars in the department uh, was very helpful. I think whatever I said, uh, nobody resist me to do it. Everyone supported me well. So thank you all uh, because uh, I cannot remember the names of the person. Sorry for that because each and every scholar in the department, scholar and students in the department was very helpful. So we will organize this type of programs in the future as well, in online as well as offline. And uh, uh, we try to maintain the quality always uh, in, in the content setting and the, the, the resource persons. Uh, we will share the details of our resource persons in this workshop to the participants. And you can also, the participant also can collaborate them as well. So, at this outset, I thank you all and uh, uh, thank you all the participants uh, of this program. Thank you. Thank you, Biju sir. That was a wonderful vote of thanks incorporating all the scholars and without leaving anyone. Thank you so much, sir. Dear delegates, we wish you all had a fruitful and enriching session in this 10 days workshop and conference organized by the Department of Commerce, University of Kerala. We wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Thank you. The certificates are getting ready and they will be sent to your register email within four to five days. Thank you, delegates, and thank you each and every one of you. On behalf of the Department of Commerce, we thank and all for your participation. Thank you so much, dear delegates. Thank you. Thank you all.